First up, the script kitty. These guys don't know what they're doing. They downloaded a tool, hit run, and now they're pretending they're the next big thing. These are the people who think copying and pasting code is hacking. Their idea of a skill is googling how to hack and hitting the first link. If that's your definition of hacking, you're about as dangerous as a hamster in a hamster wheel. Lots of running, but not getting anywhere. Next, the white hat hacker. These folks are the good guys. They'll break into your system, point out all the weak spots, and fix them. You know, like the IT guy who actually knows what he's doing. Unlike the guy who tells you to just restart it. White hats do the job right. They get paid to keep things safe. If someone's saving your data before the black hats find it, that's them. Thanks guys, you don't get as nearly enough rep as you should be. Speaking of black hats, these are the folks you really don't want to meet. They're the ones who'll steal your data, lock it up for ransom, and make you pay to get it back. They run phishing scams, spread malware, and generally make your life a living nightmare. If your computer gets a weird pop-up asking for your bank details, guess what? The black hat is already there, smiling behind the screen. Stop making these guys sound cooler than they are. The internet paints them as some dark, mysterious overlords. But in reality, most of them are just spraying 5,000 stolen emails and hoping some unsuspecting grandma clicks the barely convincing Amazon phishing link. And when she does, bam, her account's drained and she's left broke. Super impressive, right? A real digital mastermind for sure. Then there's the gray hat hacker. 